G'day, Scott here with this year's Ghost review of each of the bats in their range. So the top of the range is the Ghost Pro players. Uh, with all these ones, the profile is a mid-profile. Um, this year they're probably a little bit fuller than I reckon they've been in previous years, which is a good thing. It usually means that they play really well throughout the blade, like not just in the true centre when they're a little bit fuller with the shape. Um, and the, yeah, the profile, I would call it like right on a mid-profile. So this is a player's one. So yeah, you're getting a pretty good grain or something like that. It's a top of the range bat. The next model down is the 1.0. Um, so yeah, same again. The shape is the same as what the player's one is. Um, and yeah, same again, nice and full. They pick up really well, the ghost as well, but you're sort of going to get a grain which in the 1.0 is still really good grain, just probably a fraction wider is probably the reason this isn't a player's bat, but really nice and clean. And then, the next model we've got is the 3.0 Super Light. So this one's a slotly different. These come in around the 2.6 to 2.7 mark. They're a little bit shorter in the blade. Um, same again, they're quite big for that weight of bat, and that's the reason they do make it a little bit shorter in the blade, so you can get the weight down a little bit. But um, grain-wise, yeah, still pretty good. This one's just got a couple sort of imperfections. That's pretty much what you'll be getting out of one of those, a little bit wider. And then the 4.0, which is... One of our biggest selling bats, really. These are like a $500 bat. I reckon they are really good for that price. Good value for money. Um, consistently every year, they, they play really good. Um, Grain-wise on these, you'll just, I mean, you can often get some really good grains. Like this one, for example, is really nice grain. Just runs off the blade a little bit. That's why that's been downgraded. Um, but like something like this is still gonna play often just as good as the better models. Um, same thing, like the weights and the pickups of these are, I mean, we've got a, this year quite a good variance in the weight, so there are quite a few light ones. This one is around that 2.9, but it's got really nice even balance to it. And then the last model we got is like the entry model, which is a 7.1. So these have just got a uh, laminate covering, so yeah, there's not really much point showing you grain on that one. And they're a painted back, but uh, they're just a good entry level bat. A lot, a lot of time people just getting into cricket or a junior that might be quite tall and just got into a, a short handle bat and the parents don't want to spend too much money. Um, they're a good good op value for money option. They still play well. Like Yes, they don't play as well as some of the better ones, obviously, but they're still a decent bat. So value for money for around that couple hundred getting English Willow, still a really good option. So there's the range for this year in the Ghost.